Hey guys, today I'm just going to go over my Minden 28mm French Indian War Army. Uh, I've got French and British here. I've already shown you my Indians, so uh, this is my predominantly regular miniatures. Okay, so what we've got here. Well, first of all, I'll show you what I've finished painting. Uh, we've got a Conquest Indian to the left there. Uh, sorry about the light, the um, sun's gone in. And then we've got the three Minden miniatures to the right. Um, yeah, uh, Minden miniatures, excellent quality, excellent sculpts, good service, and just in general, amazing stuff. So I'll put the link to their website below in the description as well as uh, Drum and Fife's uh, Kickstarter campaign, which are um, miniatures based in the American Revolution that um, are sculpted by the same guy who does the Minden miniatures, at least if I'm correct. So, yeah, we've got um, the Conquest Indian here to the left. Let's zoom in on this fella. There we go. He's looking quite mean. I think he's going to have to be my favourite miniature of the Conquest Indians. So there's him. French regular there. I'm painting these as the Frances de la Marine, which, uh, if you can recognise the banner, would have gave it away earlier. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the back of this guy. There we go. I really do love painting these miniatures because the uh, proportions are a lot more realistic. Here's the other banner. Uh, I'm currently working on his banner, so he doesn't have his at the moment. And we've got the last guy here, who's a portly fellow. Look at his face if you can actually see. Bear with me. There we go. Turns out I don't have uh, manual focus on this phone, unfortunately, so that is why the focus is always a bit of a bugger. So that's them. Now I'll show you the miniatures in general. Um, these are the French regulars of which you've probably just seen so there you go. They're all in the same pose because I wanted them regimented. Um, I am getting uh, custom made uh, movement trays for all of these guys so that they can fit the one penny bases in. I don't have to move them individually around the field then. Um, this is one of my favourite miniatures uh, from the new Minden Civilian range. Again, so, sorry about the focusing, guys. It's really quite a pain. Um, there we go. There you go. Lovely stuff. I'm going to paint this guy up as a French colonel because as far as his uniform goes it's very similar um, also in the same pack got these guys here which are again stunning miniatures I really can't say anything wrong about them um, we have the two women here uh, she's got riding crop there and uh, this woman here with a tricorn and then this fellow who's been quite genteel again awesome miniatures so that's them uh, we have French drummer there uh, French colonel of you may have seen in previous videos so that's him again for you. We have the British Colonel over here. 
who's looking quite dapper. Then we have the British Command, the two standards behind, officer and drummer. British regulars. Uh, I'll be painting these up as the American, uh, the Royal Americans. I think they're the 60th foot. And here is the Grenadier attachment or detachment, which, um, yeah, um, I, I love these guys. I love the uh, Grenadiers. Um, yeah, they're uh, mitres if you. They've got some fantastic detail to them. If I can get this to focus, if bear with me. Oh, get in there. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, here we go. You can see the detail on the mitre cap is phenomenal, it really is. Yeah, that's them. And last but not least, we'll be going over the civilians, or what I'm going to be using as militia, etc. Here we go. So we've got this guy here, without a hat. We've got all these guys. This guy here is the officer or civilian leader. So I'll be using them for muskets and tomahawks. There's flint lockout. So I've got a couple of guys here. Pitchforks. Um, this guy's got a spontoon I've gave him from an officer pack I've got from something else. Because it was either that or a broom. And I think, uh, yeah, he'd have a bit of a hard time with a broom. This guy's going to be struggling as it is with this spade. But um, that is a fair side spade, spade, to be fair. So, yeah, got this guy. And, oh, and this guy with the axe there. But um, I did have some trouble with trying to get the axe to fit. I had to uh, shave it down quite a bit to get it in his hands. So that's them. Uh, oh, actually, I'll show you some of the uh, drum and fife miniatures I've got. This is the uh, Continental Colonel in hunting shirt, but I'll be using him as a French Frontier Colonel. So he's pointing away there, which is always good. And actually, I'll give you a quick glimpse at me. Canadian militia and hunting shirts. Again, these are from Drum and Fife. Uh, these aren't finished yet, as you can see. Again, another work in progress that I haven't yet finished and have gone on to something else. So, I will get all this done eventually. So, uh, there'll be many more videos to come on this subject. I'm also working on a review for all my board games. So, look forward to that. These are regulars. I have cut the bayonets off. I'll be using these as Virginia Provincials as I'll be using this fella here to represent George Washington while he was in the Virginian Provincials. Um, yeah, so that's it guys. I'll put the uh, respected links below and uh, subscribe if you like what you see. Feel free to comment and yeah, keep an eye on the next vids. Oh, also, um, if you haven't already seen Tristan's um, uh, how to play muskets and tomahawks videos, I highly recommend checking them out as well as his other videos. He's got some great stuff on there. So, uh, again, I'll put another link in the description below. And, yeah. Alright, guys. Keep it safe. Cheerio.